early start today. We're going to Coeur d'Alene in Idaho. So first coffee. I got my collagen coffee. Some cinnamon, a little bit too much. I'm gonna take these moon cheese cheddar bacon on the road. They're just cheese. And then I'm going to take this quest bar just in case. I'm contributing to my bang addiction. I picked up cotton candy for myself and sour heads for Caesar. All right, so the plan was to go to a Passport America RV park in Idaho. Uh, it says no reservations, so we showed up and they did not have room for us. So we looked around, Caesar wanted to get his truck checked out at a mechanic's place in um, Idaho in Coeur d'Alene. Uh, because he thought it was making like a weird noise. They hooked up the diagnostic thing to his truck and said that it was fine. It just needed to not be put in a certain gear as it was going downhill or something like that. So we kept trucking along, decided to go ahead and cross the state line into Washington. And we are about 29 miles from a free boondocking site that we're gonna stay at. But the truck keeps acting weird, like like not having any get up and go or power. So hopefully we don't get stuck or something bad happens with the truck. So, so for now we pulled over just for a little bit so he can let it cool down and figure out what the problem is with the truck. It is a lot warmer here in Washington than I expected it to be. I thought we were going to have cooler weather all our entire time up north, but um, it's like, I don't know, 75, 80 degrees. It's pretty warm. So let me show you on the map where we are. We started off down here in South Texas and went all the way up and around and through Idaho. And we are in just outside of Spokane like literally just outside of Spokane. Our goal is to come over here, maybe take the Pacific Coast a little bit, go down into Nevada, up a little bit through here, go to Yellowstone, then back down. We'll see though, <laughs> we'll see. If this truck cooperates, then we'll continue on. And if not, then I guess not. You thirsty, bud? All right, we got to our campsite. It is hot, 90 something degrees outside. We are boondocking, so we have the generator hooked up, the AC going, the kids are almost done with their food, chicken nuggets and mac and cheese, and this is what we're having. Uh, we've got our salad, some bacon bits, uh, two kinds of cheeses, either blue cheese or um, this is goat cheese. Yeah. Well, the balsamic vinaigrette broke, so all we have is the ranch as an option. That's why this isn't a plastic bottle. And we are also making sauteed zucchini with onions. And boneless beef ribs are cooking outside in the grill. All right, we've got some zucchini and onion. We've got some beef ribs. And a salad with some blue cheese and some ranch. Got some tomatoes and red onions in there. That's dinner. So this is our spot for tonight. Found it on, surprisingly, hello, 
freecampsites.net as a lot of our sites that we've been boondocking, if not all of our sites. It is secluded out here. We have to go down this dirt road, but it is a campsite. Like they've got bathrooms over here and they've got like a little information thing. And it says you can camp here for up to 14 days. Um, we got here and it was super, super hot. Of course, not Texas heat, but it was like 90 degrees and there wasn't a ton of shade. Now that it's getting a little bit later right now, it is seven. So it's not as hot, thankfully. But yeah, this is, this is our place for the night. Caesar's truck is not doing so well. And of course it happens to start having an issue right when we're at the furthest point from home. <laughs> So we're gonna find a Ford service center and see if we can get it looked at, see what's wrong with it. As he's riding it in on the freeway, he says that he it feels like it's overheating or it, it doesn't wanna like have the get up and go, the power to go. So he is a little concerned about it and we don't have a mechanic out here. So we're trying to figure that out as we go. So. We're gonna get up really early tomorrow and head back towards Spokane, which is about 37 miles from where we are, backtracking, unfortunately, so we can go to that Ford dealership and then um, hopefully get it fixed. I guess spend that time, you know, hanging out in Spokane somewhere. And then, I don't know, then I guess we're back on the road. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's what we've got so far. So we are just outside of Spokane, Washington, and uh, we finished dinner. I showed you the plate that I ate of the boneless ribs, sauteed zucchini, and a salad. I'm stuffed because I went back and got one more rib, a little bit of zucchini. Probably shouldn't have, I could have done without that, but I went ahead and got it. This is probably the first day on this two week trip that I'm kind of like, ugh, ready to go home. But I think it's just we had a rough day today. I was a little concerned. We barely made it to this site tonight. There's nobody around us. It's brutally hot when we got here, but not as brutally hot like Arizona. Arizona is 120 degrees every time we go through there. This is only like 90, but with no shade and we came in the very hottest part of the day at like three, four o'clock. We hadn't eaten all day. We'd been in the car driving. We had these truck issues. And I think we were just like, oh, you know, and then we were hoping to stay by water. The kids were hoping to stay at this um, RV park where they were gonna have a swimming pool. It would have been perfect, but instead we are at this free campsite with nobody around us, which is good, but you know, truck issues. Now we gotta wake up at five in the morning to be hitching up this RV and on the road to get to the service center by 6 a.m. and see what's wrong with it. And hopefully it's not an arm and a leg. I'm hoping not to have to pay a ton of money to get this truck taken care of, but you know, vehicle issues are never cheap, right? So there are cool little information booths here, but you would think they would tell me what that thing is. I think it's a barn of some sort, but it doesn't tell me. It just says you could see wildlife. As long as I don't see them up close, I'm good. Vehicles must stay on designated areas, no shooting. That's good. Pack it in, pack it out. The Great Washington State Birding Trail. Okay, very nice. And then we saw this cool thing over here that Ivy and I read when we first got here. And it was basically about um, the people who lived here back in 1910. Uh, and from 1902 to 1910, and then they had a fire in 1998 when this home burned down. So pretty cool to learn about it. People occupied this spot as a homestead a hundred years ago, over a hundred years ago. So pretty cool. This is our campsite for the night, but 
now it's not so bad. It's starting to cool down a little bit. The kids are playing target practice with Caesar with a BB gun and uh, like a water bottle and a plastic spoon or something. And that's it for now. Washington is a lot hotter than I expected it to be. I expected Washington to be cooler, kind of like North Dakota and a little bit of Montana, but instead it's like Texas. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see how long we'll stay here in Washington before we keep moving on our journey. Not a very big explorer, but now I'm curious. It doesn't say we can't go through here and I see like a little another information board. The only thing I'm worried about is Caesar. I don't know if he was teasing me or what, but he's like, watch out for snakes. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, there better not be snakes out here because I will scream and run as fast as I freaking can. And of course I am wearing flip flops because it's so damn hot when we got here. But let's go look at this information board. There better not be any snakes, y'all. For real. I'm gonna go back into the air condition if I see anything moving in these bushes. How spooky is that, right? It doesn't say I'm trespassing. It says, like, it's a campsite over here, so I should be okay. Let's see what this says. Folsom Farm. That's where we are. Folsom Farm. Alright, you see how there's a picnic table over there? And a fire ring. So, I should be okay. <laughs> I'm looking out for snakes. See, there's a little information there like how how further do I go look at these tall grass things I don't want a snake to come out ah! okay I guess these are like the stables or a barn right stones is a regular spring task. It is the surest crop of the year, never affected by rain, drought, blizzard, or heat. I was gonna go check that out, but I'm kind of a scaredy cat. Look, there's like a little pond or something. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I don't want snakes to come out. Is that ducks? I hear talking. Is that my family or somebody else? Let me see. Oh my God. Okay, let's go look at what's over here. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, I'm on this little hill. Okay. Oh my God. Where am I getting? I think I'm done with this. I came, I saw, I went. You guys are welcome. I'm going back into the camper. And uh, yeah, where there's no snakes or bats, bugs. I'll tell you how much I love camping. <laughs> Where's 
just over Donald. it. Really? Yes, not walk, not go through it, silly. Okay, what are you doing, Nick? All right, so Go we're going to snipe that ball go go all the way over there from like uh -huh. here, like 10 feet long. Yeah. So this is how my dad taught me how to go shoot ahead, the gun. Go ahead, show us. So first what you're going to do is you're going to try and like get the bottle dead center as soon as you find it. Yeah. When you find it, you are going to put it on not safe that's when you can shoot okay whenever you're done putting them safe you breathe in and you fire oh. even if it's not loaded and if like it's not if it's still not on safety and it's not and it's on safety never be in front of a gun never Never, because it might accidentally shoot. And you don't point the gun at? You don't point the gun at any creatures and nobody. You don't point at anything you do not want to kill? Yes. And like, this is just a BB gun though, right? Yeah. Good. But BB guns can hurt if somebody gets shot with one. Shut yeah. your eye out, kid. <laughs> yeah. Be careful.